What is your reason for going? I believe I can help. Are you aware they do not listen? I'll speak in stories. They'll listen to stories. They'll like what I have to say. Not all of them. Yes, but some will. Many. We'll be a force. What happens when you forget? <laughs> I won't forget. How will you remember? I'll remember all of this. I'll remember the whole. I'll look for the unseen in the scene. I'll hear the music in the silence. And when you fail to get through to them? I'll look for where the veil is thin. There are many of us down there. I'll look for them. How will you know? Gabriel said you can tell by their laughter, or sometimes by their sorrow. It's deeper, he said, like it belongs to everyone. And when you find them? We'll know each other. We won't have to talk about it. We'll just know, and that will help. How will you know if you succeed in your mission? It'll be like here. They'll see the connections. They'll forget how separate they thought they were. And they'll take care of each other. Then you'll return? Yes, then I'll return. Unless you need me sooner. I'll be listening. I'll come if you want. Very well then. On your way. And the word was made flesh. And the word was made flesh. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month's for her who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her.
In those days, a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in bands of cloth, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the inn.
In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors.
When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see the thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So when they went with haste and found Mary, Joseph, and the child lying in the manger, when they saw this, they made known what had been told to them about the child, and all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds told them. All this took place to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet. Look, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God with us. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. God. 
In the time of King Herod, after Jesus was born, in Bethlehem of Judea, wise men from the east came to Jerusalem, asking, Where is the child who has been born King of the Jews? For we have observed his star at its rising, and have come to pay him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was frightened, and all Jerusalem with him. And calling together all the chief priests and scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Messiah was to be born. They told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for so it has been written by the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are by no means least amongst the rulers of Judea. For from you shall come a ruler, who is to shepherd my people to Israel. Then Herod secretly called for the wise men, and learned from them the exact time when the star had appeared. Then he sent them to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search diligently for the child, and when you have found him, bring me words so that I may also go and pay him homage. When they had heard the king, they set out, and there, ahead of them, went the star that they had seen at its rising, until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw that the star had stopped, they were overwhelmed with joy. On entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and paid him homage. Then, opening their treasure chests, they offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. i 
Quiet in Bethlehem town, to heaven the angels returned. The shepherds departed to spread the good news of the tidings so true they have learned. The magi are gone to the Orient homes, remembering those blessed things they saw and they heard as they worshipped a babe, whom they knew as the King of Kings. All is now quiet in Bethlehem town. The prophecies have proven true. The Savior is born and he lives. Oh, he lives in the hearts both of me and of you. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. Is the night of the dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin and error pining till he appeared and the soul felt its worth. A thrill. For yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. Fall on your knees, oh, hear the angel voices, oh, night divine. Was born. Oh, no. 
Sisters, brothers, and friends of the world, and all ye good people, open your hearts and raise your arms in jubilant praise, for behold, the blessed baby Jesus is born, the very Son of God. On this day a new age dawns, and we, God's people, receive an immeasurable blessing. <laughs> 